In just a matter of hours, a trial is set to begin for a woman accused of beating and killing a beloved grandmother. Back in August of 2021, authorities say Linda Robinson's body was found on the side of the road in Chester County. Deputies eventually charged a pair of suspects with her murder. And now, more than two years later, Amber Harris will face a jury. Wake up, Charles. Richard Devane now live for us this morning with what to expect. Richard. Yeah, good morning, Ben. Good Monday morning, everyone. Basically, these this person was accused of taking the life of a good Samaritan, someone whose own children said that she would give them the shirt off her very back. George Cy Linwood Fail of Lancaster and Amber Nicole Harris of Chester, both charged with murder for the 2021 death of 62-year-old Linda Welch Robinson from Fairfield County. Investigators say Robinson went to a Walmart in Chester and then offered a ride to the pair because she thought they had car problems. But the couple beat and killed her, stealing her minivan, leaving her body off the side of the Highway 72 in Chester County. Fail and Harris, both with lengthy criminal arrest records, seen hours later in the victim's minivan when they checked in with the probation officer, later ditching that same van before police caught up with them. At a bond hearing, Robinson's husband told us she was so badly beaten, he didn't recognize her. I couldn't even explain what she looked like because I, I, could, I couldn't even, she was unrecognizable. You couldn't recognize her. I couldn't recognize her. I've been living with her 50 years and I couldn't recognize her at all. Yeah, at that particular bond hearing, she actually, her defense was that she was not at the scene at the time, but the prosecution said they actually had her DNA under the victim's nails. Now, we can tell you that a first-degree murder in South Carolina is punishable by up to life in prison or possibly death if there are aggravated circumstances. We're right here in South Carolina. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.